Hey everyone, it's Kathy and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kathy's Random Acts of Stampin' and back here in my craft room. Today we're going to work on a card that I think turned out beautiful. Now the first one I want to show you was the very first one I did and there are some mistakes in here. I'm not going to point them out but because uh, a lot of times if you don't point them out nobody else can tell but but I definitely can tell. So I tried it in the in the um, Starry Sky. I stamped first in Starry Sky. I went back with my Balmy Blue uh, alcohol uh, stamp and blend markers and colored in but if you noticed I didn't color in completely I kind of left it where it was kind of low lights and highlights in that blue um, and also in this card you do some masking and to mask off an image it gives you the appearance that the other one is tucked up under it and I'll show you more about that when we get to it. This was the second one I did. I like this one. This one did not have as many mistakes in it but I like the blue one better. I mean I love pink but there was just something about this blue and white with the greenery on it. Now I used pear pizzazz on the leaves for the blue one and I used the granny apple green on that one. You can see there's just a very hint of a difference. So for the one I'm going to do today we're going to do it in the blue. I'm choosing a darker blue. I'm going to go with my knight of navy and the granny apple green for my leaves. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got four stamp blocks here, uh, two for my leaves and two for my blooms. What you are going to need is some masking paper. Stamping Up has um, a great masking paper and it's called uh, Stamping Up Masking Paper. Very simple. I keep mine in a little stamp case like this and then when I need a sheet I can just go in and pull one off like that and what you do you stamp on the solid side you, you'll see it has a separation under here that allows you to pull it off but I'm going to stamp on this side and I'm going to show you how that works in just a minute the only stamping we're going to have to do on this is going to be the, our blossoms which is going to be these two flowers right here so let's go ahead and get those stamped first I'm going to move my cardstock um, this is for my card base and this is going to be um, our mat that's going to go behind it and it's just a scrap of Knight of Navy. Alright, so what I want to do first is I want to grab out all of my stamps that I'm going to need and that's going to be those right there. I'm going to also need my two leaves and we're going to use the splatter and I think I'm going to use um, I'm not sure of the sentiment I'm going to use yet. I don't know if I want to use the hello or the thank you. We could always do hooray it's your day and make it a birthday card but we'll, we'll think on that. Let's go ahead and load these up and I'm going to turn them so that they're facing in the right direction just like that and I'm going to load one up on this block and one on this block and then I'm going to go ahead and get my leaves loaded and we got one leaf there and one leaf there. My splatter, I'm going to go ahead and load it up on a block as well. I figure it just makes everything a lot quicker and easier when you get ready to stamp if you've got everything already loaded and ready to go. Alright, the first thing I want to do is I want to stamp and um, put down the flowers. So here's my Knight of Navy and I'm just going to go ahead and do it in the Knight of Navy. And ink it up and that looks like it's pretty good. I'm going to come down here at the bottom and I'm going to stamp one blossom here. Oops. Leave it to me to get ink on me. You know I can do it. I'm going to stamp one of the large one and two of the smaller ones. And I'll show you why we're going to do that. We're going to stamp one big one here. I mean one small one, I'm sorry. And another small one right here. Now this set comes with dies, but I'm going to tell you, because I learned this the hard way, you do not want to use your dies to cut these out with. The dies cut and give you a little extra border around the edges of them and we don't need that. We need to have that cut as close to the edge as we can so we're going to fussy cut these. I'm going to go ahead and clean off these stamps before I go any further using my stamp and scrub and my stamp and scrub again. 
just like to make sure I keep my stamps ready to go. So those will be ready to go when we get ready to stamp again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece of paper right down the middle. And you can see right here where it has the, the uh, seam that separates it. So I'm just going to cut straight up the middle. Just like that. And then I'm going to put this piece back into my container where I keep it. That way I know that that piece is still good to use again. So now for this I am going to grab my um, paper snips and we're going to fussy cut these uh, flowers. And like I said this is not hard to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut off one piece there and then I'm going to start right in here and remember to angle your, angle your scissors like that and just move your paper, not your scissors. And just trim right around. These have nice bold lines on them, so they're really not hard to cut out. Um, and you want these masks to cover up just the stamped image, so it's important to get right up in there nice and close. Just like that. And then up like this. If y'all hear some noise, um, my husband's out working on cars again today, so he is taking care of um, that. Although this video will go up on Tuesday, I'm recording this on Saturday. I usually try to get my Tuesday video recorded on Saturday because I don't, I don't like to have to have a video to have to record on Sunday. Uh, I go to church Sunday. I come home. I like to spend some time with my husband, and uh, then if you know if I feel up to it, I make it back to church that night. And uh, I just like to be able to spend that time as family time. And you see how easy that that um, that cut out for me. So I'm going to go off camera and cut these other two out, and we'll meet right back up, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use those masks. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and as you can see, I have my three flowers cut out. Now, I haven't taken the backing off of these yet. I'm going to lay those up there, and we are going to bring over our cardstock, and I am going to take this piece and cut it in half on the 11-inch side. So we're going to cut it at five and a half. Let's move our stamps up out of the way. Line that up right there to five and a half, right about there, and slice. And then we're going to turn it a quarter of a turn, and we're going to line it up on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. And we're going to score this. So bring the, bl the cut blade down, and then bring your scoring blade up. Give it a nice crease, and then a fold. Now I am going to use my bone folder and give that a good crease. And what I like to do is I like to make sure everything is nice and even like that. And then come in with my bone folder and press it out. And once I get that nice and creased, I'll turn it over and do it on the other side as well. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut our uh, mat. And this is going to be four inches by five and a quarter. So let's do five and a quarter first. And then cut it off at four. Just like that. Now this mat is going to mat on here beautifully, but we also need another piece of our cardstock. So we're going to cut this piece at three and three fourths by five. So line that up just like that. And now all of our cutting is done. Everything else with this particular stamp is going to be done. Um, with stamping. So it's a simple process called SIP. It's um, stamps, ink, and paper. So we are going to take a piece of grid paper because I want to protect my surface because we will be stamping on and off. 
and I'm going to lay this piece down. I'm going to use my bone folder because I don't know if you noticed, but when you cut paper, you have the edges that either roll one direction or the other, depending on which way your blade goes into it. I like to iron those places out, especially when I'm stamping off the edges. This gives me a nice even finish across my card, so that's the reason I do that. Now we're going to come in with our Knight of Navy, and I'm going to start off with my largest bloom, and I'm going to ink this up. And I always like to look at my stamp and make sure I've got a really good amount of ink on there. And I'm going to come down right in this corner, and I just want to leave a tiny little bit hanging off of that corner right there. So I'm going to stamp that down. And you always want to give nice, even pressure, but do not rock your stamp. Don't, don't do this number. When you put your block down, go like that, because you are apt to get ink from the edges on your paper, and that's not a good look. So we are going to just nice, even pressure and lift it up. Now you can see how that was off just a little bit right there, but that's perfectly fine. That's what we want to do. Now before we stamp another one, we're going to come in with our mask. And we are going to, that's the one that matches this one. You can see it, it fits over it perfectly. So we are going to take that backer off of it. This can be a little bit challenging, but if, if you just keep separating it, it will come loose. There we go. Hang on to your backer because you can stick this back on it and you can use these more than once. The only reason I cut a new one just now, I wanted to show y'all how to do it. So that when you got ready to re um, recreate this card, you would have the means to know how to do this. So now I'm just putting that down on top of there and you can see where it hangs over. That's off just a little bit, but that's fine. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we're gonna take the smaller bloom and I'm going to come in, ink it, and I am going to stamp this one right about here, and I'm going to angle it just a tiny bit to the left, and I want to stamp it over top of that one just a hair, just overlapping ever so slightly. Again, give that a nice pressure. Don't rock, just press. Beautiful. Then we're going to come around on this other side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stamp this one about like this. And there's no right or wrong. Every time you make one of these, you will never position your stamps the same place twice. So don't even don't even attempt to try. Just go ahead and get it on, get your um, stamp where you want it, and then just stamp it. There is our corner pieces. Now I'm not going to take that one off yet because we are getting ready to put the smaller pieces on. And again, we're going to separate that little backer from the top. And like I said, you might have to wiggle it around a little bit and go around different areas, but you'll find a place that will lift up. And then we are going to take this one and sit it down right here on top of this one just about like that. Give it a press and then we're going to take that last one and we're going to put it on the one over here. So you want to make sure you've got all your flowers covered up before you start stamping your leaves. That's the reason I went ahead and did enough for every one of these. I don't have to wait and lift one up and you might forget because I did. One of mine that I was working on, I totally, I was, I was chatting through a chat window on my phone and I just stamped and thinking I had a mask over it and I didn't. So that was not a good thing. All right, so we're gonna take this one. I'm gonna turn this around because I wanna make sure that I'm lining this up just like the flower is laying. So just like that, give it a press. And now we're ready to stamp our um, leaves. So I'm gonna close up our, our blue, um, our Knight of Navy, and I'm going to grab out my stamp and scrub. Again, I'm going to go ahead and clean these stamps. Just like that. Now those are all ready to go back in the package. 
Now I'm going to take my, my granny apple green and I'm going to come in now and stamp some leaves. Now I'm going to ink this up because this, this ink pad, for whatever reason, is um, a little bit lacking in color. I think I need, it's about ready to be re-inked, but I didn't do it yet, so that's, that's okay. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to stamp a leaf like it's coming off of the corner right here up. beautiful I'm gonna do another one that's gonna look like there's a stem and part of a leaf coming out from right here you see it's only gonna catch that bottom of that leaf but that's okay I'm gonna do the same thing here and I'm gonna come over here and I want to stamp some leaves kind of off to the side right there. Beautiful. Now I'm going to grab the other, the th one with the three leaves on it. And we're going to do a set of leaves coming off about there. And maybe another one. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to do the single one, or the not the triple, but the double. We'll have this one coming out right about there. And I think that's all the leaves I'm going to need for right this minute. So let's close this up. And let's peel our mask back. And there's your magic. Look how beautiful this is going to be. So I'm going to lift up, peel that one off, and see how it looks like all of your leaves are coming from behind the flower rather than stamped on top of the flower. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. So I'm going to turn it, and I want to do a little bit right in this corner. Not very much. So we're going to come back in with the Knight of Navy. And I think I'm going to use just the little one. And I'm going to ink that up really good. And I'm only going to grab just a tiny bit right there, maybe halfway. Stamp it down. Nice, even pressure. Very good. Now we're going to take another one of the mask and we're going to lay on top of it. You want to get these as nice and even over top of your stamp as you can. Let's re-ink, and we're going to do just a tiny little bit like that. So see, it's going to look like it's just barely on there. I'm going to do a little bit over here, right about like this. Now we're going to take the other mask and put it over top of this one just like that we're going to close up our that ink. now remember we don't have one over here so we can't stamp over there we're going to concentrate our leaves on this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the single leaf I'm going to come off right about here and maybe one coming off about like that and then let's take one of the mask off so let's grab the one here on the end and let's bring it over here to this and we're going to put that down just like that and then we can oh, goodness I am just a clutch today we're gonna we're gonna stamp a leaf right here and maybe one coming off in that direction right there having that mask on there you can stamp wherever you need to and to situate your leaves where you want them and see how pretty that is that 
turned out gorgeous. So I'm going to peel these up. I'm going to lay these over here for right now and I'll put them back on the backers once we're done. Okay. And I'm even going to set my stamps up there for right now. I want to come in with some um, balmy blue and we are going to do just a tiny bit of the splatters using the uh, balmy blue and the reason i wanted to go balmy blue i wanted it to be lighter much much lighter so there's my balmy blue and i'm going to come over here because i'm going to stamp off ink it i'm going to stamp off and then stamp on stamp off and stamp on okay we're going to stamp off and stamp on and I'm going to do one more right down on this side maybe right about here and that's all we're going to do on that just to give it a little more texture right there So we'll close that up and now I think I am going to take my um, I'm going to go ahead and put these on because I had them on top of my, my stamp and scrub and I need my stamp and scrub so I'm just going to go ahead and lay these back down on the paper on the backer make sure you get them on the shiny side of the backer not the dull side because that's where they need to go let's see make sure I'm getting them on there right this looks right once you get them down then just give them a good rub you might even want to rub it with the bone folder I did have it just a minute ago just rub it down so that it will adhere once you do that they pretty much stick fairly fairly decent so this one I think goes down like maybe like this That's the hard part, is getting these back on where they belong. That looks pretty good. And then our last piece goes here. And rub it. And I like to drop these in, the, in my stamp case with the stamps. That way you have mask the next time you wanted to do this. You'll have um, mask and you won't have to worry about finding them. I'm moving my card out of the way so I don't get it messed up. And I'm going to go ahead and clean real quick these stamps. We just got the four. So get them cleaned off really quick. Just like that. And like that. So don't forget that today starts the sale. So if you saw anything on the last chance um, list of products that you might want, um, today starts the sale. If you ordered them before today, they were not discounted. Um, they could have been ordered earlier, but they're not discounted until um, today, uh, April the 4th. So. I just wanted to let everybody know that so that in case there was something you wanted, you can go ahead and grab it. All right, let's take that off and let's put, um, how about hooray it's your day? I don't know. I really, really, really love, <laughs> I absolutely love this. Thank you. Maybe we'll do the thank you after all. I love that. I love that sentiment. I love the font. The font just really speaks to me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And then I'm going to ink it in the Night of Navy. And I'm going to come down. And I'm going to try to make sure I'm getting this nice and straight and centered somewhat. More straight than centered because we are we are stamping amongst the flowers so it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, centered 
it just needs to be in there where it looks straight and look how gorgeous this is but we're not done you know as the commercial go but wait <laughs> i always tell my husband when it's a but wait it means it's an add-on which means an extra charge so <laughs> anyway uh let's move this out and go ahead and clean this we are going to come in and use a balmy blue um stamp and blend marker and i'm going to grab both my light and dark and my balmy blue and we are going to color the flowers a little bit on the inside i'm going to start off with my dark and the reason i like to use the dark i like to come in right around the edges like that a little bit up in the middle wherever those little registration lines are yeah that is the dark one and i'm going to do the same thing here any place I feel like it needs to be a little bit more darkness, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this. You know my my balmy blue. I'm about ready to need to order a, a new set of these. The brush tip runs out of the ink faster than the bullet tip, so I'm gonna use my bullet tip for the rest of this. I color just as well with either one, so um, a lot of times the bullet tip gives you a little bit more control. So I'm just going to reinforce around those darker lines and any of those little registration curlies in there. This is what helps you get those um, the low lights and the highlights on your um, image is just going in and putting down that dark ink first. I like to do the dark ink first. Some people do it all over with the light and then come back and put in but then they still have to go back over it again with the light so i figure why not save one of those steps and just do the the dark first and then do the light and it blends everything together to me that just makes sense but you know whatever works for you in crafting there really isn't a right way or a wrong way it's what works for you so all right i think that's good with the dark so let's see what the bullet, the brush tip, this one doesn't look so bad, so we might be able to use it. So this is the light, and I'm just going to swirl some color all around on these petals, and I'm going to streak a little bit. I'm leaving that middle, because that's where the stamen's at, and I don't want to put blue in where that's at, because normally it's not blue or whatever color the flower is. It's usually, it's either brown or yellow or orange. You know, usually a very pretty bright color of some sort. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave mine white because I like it like that. So I'm just gonna come up and continue to circle color around. You don't want it to look perfect. You want it to have some little streaks of light in it and by doing this you're going to have that natural shading and that's what I love about my Stampin Blends these are sold two to a pack so you get a light and a dark of each color and uh, with the new colors coming out oh my word I can't wait I can't wait to see the, the new colors up close and impersonal or I should say up close and in person. So as a demonstrator, we get to order um, a few things that Stamping Up has deemed um, orderable for us on the 4th as well. So that will give us a chance to get those products in and be able to premiere them, show them to y'all of you prior to the catalog coming out. You know, I should have done this one when I had the blue out, but I, the dark one, but I didn't. That's okay. We'll just come in here. Some of these darker ones in. Darker color around. Like that. Now you can see you don't have hardly as much space here as you do on the full flower. So we're just going to, you know, put the color down 
around where those darker places would be. And that looks really pretty. And I think for this, since it's smaller, I'm going to use the bullet tip for this. And I'm just going to swirl some color in. And... Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? The Night of Navy with that balmy blue. I think it just really sets this card off. So now we can move that out of our way. And let's bring our mat back over. This is our Night of Navy. And like I said, this is four by five and a quarter. And this piece is three and three fourths by five. So I'm going to come in with my stamp and seal and I'm just going to put a little stamp and seal. Again, I want to tell you the stamp and seal has improved by a long shot from what it was when it first came out. I know many people were not happy with the stamp and seal, but they have improved it so much that if you have not ch had a chance to check it out, um, I would urge you to get at least one and try it. It works really good now. And I was not um, on Team Stampin', Stampin' Seal for a long time because I found it very hard to work with. But I kept trying and trying, but I will say the newer ones that they come out with is just much easier to deal with. They are gorgeous. Now I have that beautiful white card base and we're going to set this down right on top of that white card base and look how gorgeous that card is. I mean, I think for it to be a simple a simple stamped and colored card it is stunning I mean this card looks like you spent so much time but y'all saw how simple it was the hardest thing I guess was probably fussy cutting those little flowers but that's not hard the paper that that um, uh, masking um, paper is on is so easy to cut so it really does make it easy so I'm going to turn that around like this and I'm going to sit it down and I'm going to make sure I got everything centered up as best as possible. That looks good. So I'll give that a good little press. Press it on this side as well. Now all we need is another piece of Night of Navy. So I'm going to look in my scrap bin. Always go to my scrap bin first. And it doesn't appear that I have a piece big enough for a mat. So that's 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 okay, not a problem. I'm just gonna grab a piece of my Knight of Navy. And I need another piece of white, and I do have another piece over there. So let me get my pen back and my glue so I am going to cut off a mat again I'm going to do that same size it's going to be a four by five and a quarter and then the white piece And I have that scrap left over. We need it to be three and three fourths by five. Just like that. And let's see, where is my stamp set? I 
I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. I think that's a beautiful, beautiful sentiment. So I think we're going to do this one on the inside. And this little tiny flower, we're going to do that, and we're going to do that in Granny Apple Green. We're going to coordinate the inside of our um, card as well as the outside. So I'm going to stamp first and making sure that that is adhering. It's looking like it's wanting to pop up, but no, nah, it looks pretty flat. I think it's because I'm using thick cardstock. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stamp this right about here. And we are going to use that Knight of Navy with on this. And that's going to go right about here. Let's straighten our paper up. Maybe we can get this straight. Nice even pressure no rocking and come straight up beautiful so now i'm going to take my granny apple green and i'm going to grab a little tiny stamp block and i'm going to ink this up and i'm going to put one little leaf here and we're going to put another one right here just to give that a little extra color a pop of color on the inside so now we are ready to adhere that to this piece and then all of this will go inside of our card so again i'm going to use my stamp and seal like that and I'm going to press that down right like that. that's not where I wanted it okay let's try it this way sometimes I do better if I put my paper sideways and now I can better gauge the top from the bottom side to side and that always works better for me. All right, so now we've got that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the stamp and seal again. All the way around. And a piece in the middle, just for good measure. And then we can set this down inside of our card. Just like that and our card is done and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful let me know in the comments what did you think about this card and if this is something that you would like to make or would think about making uh, the irresistible blooms is not in the catalog or the dies because they are it is an online exclusive anytime you see a red dot on any product that I use it means it is an online exclusive if it has a blue dot on it it's in our annual catalog and if it has a yellow dot it's from the mini catalog and a green dot means it is a celebration item so I color coded to make it easy for everybody to recognize exactly where that particular um, item that I was using came from. I love the way this turned out. I think it's absolutely precious. Who would not love to get this card? I think it's festive. I think it's um, it's rich. I think it has a very rich and yet elegant texture to it. So again, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that you have a very blessed day. And as I always say in closing, let everything that you do and say bring glory to our Father in heaven. He is so worthy. Think about the Easter season and exactly what Christ did for us. You know, Jesus paid it all. And we owe him a, a multitude of thanks and uh, affection. 
So love him, love each other. God bless and keep you. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye-bye.